I am going to I'm going to throw in a bonus feature that I just decided I'm going to do right now. We have time for it. So I was sent um, some more AI. It's called Sleep AI. Basically, so this is a little collection of some weird images. And it was compiled by Spud Cosmic. It says, thanks for checking out the compilation of Organize the Images. Two folders, quick dreams are runs where I only let the AI run as few as five minutes or a maximum of 15 minutes. Deep dreams are the ones I let run for much longer, usually several hours. So essentially, this is um, Big Sleep AI. And you type in some words and then it gives you an image based on like uh, what the hell is it called? AI. What is the AI called? The deep dream, deep dream deep? You know what I'm talking about. Yes. The results are surreal and surprisingly accurate to your input text. So what you're looking at right now well, yeah, neural network. That's fine. Um, I'm bad at explaining this stuff, but what you're looking at now is Deep Dreams, a leaky, scum-filled uh, cityscape. So when you type a leaky, scum-filled cityscape and you leave it on for a half hour to an hour, it will create this image, apparently. So this was um, the starting image, or, and then this is image 25. And this is image 30, final image. So I'm not 100% sure how that works, but you know, you go from one to two to three, and then eventually 24, 26. So I don't fully understand why this is happening, but it's weird. And there's also. Spud Cosmic included GIF files. Of the, um, the gradual transformation. So maybe I'll get an album cover out of this. Actually, here's what happens when you type Blood Bagel. Um... So yeah, he basically let the program run for several hours until it finished all 200 images or the program halted. So that's Blood Bagel 1. This is Blood Bagel 24. This is Blood Bagel 31. I do not have a link to this. Big Sleep Text to Image AI is all I know about. It might be called that. Lucid, Lucid Drains Big Sleep. So that's the best I've got. I don't know where it is specifically. Um, maybe it's not real. But yeah, here's the blood bagel generations. I apologize if I'm doing a piss poor job explaining this, but I'm just showcasing it, you know. It gets real bloody and weird after a certain amount of time. So we'll go to the quick dreams, the ones that are um, a bit shorter. For example, here's alien smoking. These ones were done, like I said, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe less. Um, and here's the final generation of alien smoking. Yeah, very HR Giger. It really is. Confusion was the prompt for this one. That's the final image, and this is the starting image. This is the, the GIF for confusion. Uh, 
Amazing. This is what an AI eventually got. How about crust? So there's the final image. These gifts are perfect, by the way. Thank you for making this stuff. Uh, cursed. When you type cursed in, this is what you get. Yeah, I agree, actually. Oh, God, that second face on, on the left there. We'll go back to deep dreams for a bit. So dungeons and dragons, when you type that in, you get this. is either but this is the first Dungeons and Dragons entry and then this is the last one so it goes from this to this uh, first person shooter so first person shooter generation 1 is this generation 52 is this is that a smiley f is that an emoji is that an emoji It grew a, an emoji. It looked like Smile Ghost. Oh, God. What if it was Smile Ghost? Hunger. Here's the starting image for hunger. This music is making this very dramatic. And it's not really, but it is kind of disturbing. Here's image 24 for hunger. Yeah, this is this is um I don't I don't like this one. This one is uncomfortable in many in many ways. And then that's the final generation of hunger. So here's the Here's the GIF. It, it's kind of creating like fucking abstract art. Like you could put this in the MoMA Museum of Modern Art and you could probably, you know, get an exhibit if you knew someone. So let's go back to Quick Dreams death here's death generation one all the way to final death there's only like seven images and that's final death right there how about um foul and vile <laughs> what What? <laughs> Chat. I need you to see that this is really what it is. Foul and vile. Ah, uh, fuck. Starting with this and ending with this. I don't like this pulsating mess. I don't, I really don't know what this has to do with that word. I was expecting something a lot weirder like Keanu Reeves, but we got this instead. So, um, now chat, this one might be disturbing. So just be prepared for it. It's not, you know what? I'm not going to tell you what the name of this is. I'm just going to let you see it. It's a little disturbing. It's just an AI. It's nothing specific. Yeah. Kind of looks like a head crab.
We need a little levity after that one. Italian Paisano. So here's the start of Italian Paisano, which is just a bird. Then um, the Italian flag <laughs> with a, a pizza and a bird with a top hat, I guess. There's... <laughs> Generation 36 is this one. It's just mustache, and now this is mustache upon mustache upon mustache. Here's almost a Mario brother at generation 57, and 72 is just like a Paisano Italian flag mustache Gabagool man pizza. What was the previous word? It was wound. Yep. But yeah, there's the Paisano wing. Okay, portal music. Portal music, you need to you need to let up a little bit here, okay? How about this image of life after death? So here's generation one. This is an AI's interpretation of life after death. And I'm using these words knowing full well that I'm probably not explaining it well by saying that. But there's life after death and then here's the final life after death which just in, is a horseshoe crab, I guess. Or a bug beetle of some sort. Ooh, I don't like it. I do not like it. Uh, these are the quick dreams. Meme. So here's meme, chat. Here's generation one for meme. Followed by generation nine. And there are meme. Okay. Uh, monkey and banana. So here's monkey and banana one. And then here's monkey and banana five. I mean, I see some banana-esque objects. Um, I think it's it's trying its best to like figure out what monkey, but doesn't know what monkey. Let's go back to deep dreams from Italian Paisano to Mortis. Mortis has a lot of generations. So here's number one. This is the first generation of Mortis. Um, God, there's so many. Then there's generation 24 of Mortis, which, you know, you can almost see text. Kind of looks like Oris. Um, and then the, the person is very creepy. Very fucking creepy indeed. Generation 82. Skeleton plus sword. And then here's the final generation, 135. That's creepy as fuck. That looks like like a damaged image of something cursed. Like a plague doctor. Like someone had a camera somehow. Went back in time. I'm worried about the camera, but the time machine's okay. Uh, went back in time and photographed a plague doctor spreading the, the plague. And then like through the time travel, the film got fucked up somehow. That's my story. That's my, my lore. But here's the uh, animation. Yeah, the the spreading of the plague through the plague doctor thing. There is um. There's a conspiracy theory about uh, the plague doctors actually using um, 
fucking ancient aliens covered this. So it's just funny to me. I'm not saying I believe it, chat. But there were reports or some kind of weird like conspiracy theory, like ancient history bullshit that there were aliens that were spreading the plague <laughs> with um, hoses like we have today with pesticides. And I never forgot that. I never forgot that image in my mind. I, I always thought that that was fucking hilarious. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just an SCP. Chat, look up Ancient Aliens Season 9, Episode 3. Says a chat member. Probably don't do that. I don't trust this chat member. Extraterrestrial geniuses? I don't know, man. But anyway, yeah, the Plague Doctor thing is always kind of uh, one of those things that I've, I've gone back to in my, um, my research. <laughs> yes, I'm a ufologist. Uh, anyway, here's um, realign. The word realign starts with that, goes to that with generation nine. You can almost see the word. Here's generation 24. Perhaps this would have been the album cover. Or maybe this. That's actually kind of a cool album cover. Okay, we'll finish out the quick dreams with Super Mario. So here's Super Mario Generation 1. It's just like another Italian bird. And then Super Mario Generation 10 has shades of Mario, but is still a weird bird thing. I, I, I don't know, chat. I see the Marios forming. Like, I can see them, but they're not quite there. They're not done. Put me back. Um, and then this one's called Video Game. This was generation one for video game. And then here's generation four. So there's the, the hot dog insect video game that we all grew up playing. Primordial video game. Surrealist su uh, Scumscape. I repeat, Surrealist Scumscape. This is a deep dream. There's no quick dreams left. These are all like deep dreams. So that's one. Here's four. That's a scumscape. Uh, if I've ever, I can't say the word scumscape. Scumscape? This entire segment feels like you're trying to look at something in your peripheral vision. It does. It feels like trying to remember a dream. So it's accurate in the name dream, but... Yeah, it's, it's really just vague imagery that feels like something, but doesn't look like anything. Here's... 29th generation. The factory belches filth into the sky. Fortieth generation. Forty fourth generation. It almost says Scumscape up there. I see an eyeball on the right. 47th generation. Final generation, 49. Here's the time lapse. Some of these are just Hylix. Yep. Video game sewer level 
is the next one. This one doesn't have an animation, but there's video game sewer level generation one, generation 11, generation 22, almost a Ninja Turtle in there, uh, 25, and then final video game sewer level generation is 28, and it looks like this. It kind of failed. And finally, chat, finally, vomit in the ball pit. Generation one. It looks like a giant pile of teeth. It's like bloody teeth, and in the middle are clown pants with blood on them. Like abandoned clown pants. Here's generation 24. Now it looks like a cauliflower landscape with like a, like a playground in the middle. So there's that. Here's 59. So it just gave up. And here is 107 of vomit in the ball pit. And here's a close-up of the faces, because there were some faces in there. As you can see, that looks like Mario. It even says M. The fuck? Here's the time lapse. Crazy. Yeah, there's drippage. There was some like, yeah, there was some genuine drippage there. And then the Mario face begins to form. Well, this nightmare segment has just about come to an end. So I hope you enjoyed it or whatever the word would be for something like this.